What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plow. Welcome back to another Platinum Edition DLC video here from the Xbox One. How's everybody doing? I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Wait, that was some great camera work right there. That's all I know. Any hoozles, let's get another harvest fired up here. We have some selling to do. I'm going to take my headphones off because I don't need them on while I record this series because I can't hear it anyway. Any hoozles, let's get to the harvest. Another harvest here on the map. What do you guys say? Let's do it. Like I said, we got some selling to do and a lot of harvesting. A lot of harvesting of canola. We already did one canola at least. I can't remember. Honestly, if I did more than one, I don't think I did. I think I only did the one canola uh, between recordings. And uh, we are back in now. So we'll go see how much canola we have sitting over there at the train eventually. The train is full and ready to be sold. Hence why I said we have selling to do. Need to start the sugarcane harvesters again. And it's just a lot of stuff to go higher up. So we will do it all. We shall do it all. For about 20 minutes. And then we'll do it all again in another video for about 20. It's amazing how that works, isn't it? <laughs> I film videos that are about 20 minutes long. Hmm, how convenient. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, I'll say hook up. Hook up. I'm, I, it's not, oh, there we go. I was going to say it's like too high or something, you know, kind of. Okay, we got it. One combine over there in three. This combine's gonna be in one, two. Check. One, two. One, two. Why do they always say one, two, by the way? Sometimes three. Why? 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 Why do they always say that, huh? That's what I want to know. Question of, of, of life right there. Hey, yeah, there's like a there's like a, a tractor in the way there. Oh jeepers. This is going well, can you tell? Oh jeepers. <laughs> Hitting them bunny hops over here, boys. But yeah, why do when, when the guys are check one two check one 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 two one one two 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 one one one? Why? Why? Can't they just be like, hey Fred, you want to go get some pizza later? Just you know, have a conversation with somebody. I don't know, or just like talk random about randomness. I don't know. It just seems goofy to me. One two one two one two. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Anyway, Farming Simulator, it's great. Can't wait, by the way, for Farm Sim 19. Oh, my goodness, who's excited? I'm pumped. Can't wait. I will be getting it on the console. And I will probably be making a console Let's Play at the same time as the PC, kind of like we're doing right now. Because I know there's a ton of you guys that are console guys out there. And I actually plan on streaming it from console as well. And uh, opening, it up, opening that up to you guys to come join. That's on Farm Sim 19, that is. Farm Sim 19. I'm probably not going to do any more 17 multiplayer on console. Um, just because just it doesn't really run that great, in my opinion. Hopefully on 19 it's better. I mean, it can't be any worse, right? <laughs> I don't particularly... Oh, stop. Wrong trigger. I don't particularly care for the way... For the way... For the way that multiplayer runs on console. I don't really care for that. But hopefully with 19, it will be better. We will be testing it. If it's terrible, then we probably won't play too much of it. But if it's tolerable, then we'll crank it up and play that along with playing on PC. I do plan on getting servers immediately. Maybe just one server, actually. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Because I was kind of thinking, because I plan on streaming like most, if not every day at first of Farm Sim 19. Because, you know, it's going to be like big. Hopefully it's real big for the channels and, and stuff like that. But um, I may just get one server at first and it's the open stream server. It's everything, you know. Like, bring it on. Everybody that wants to play can come jump in and do some farming. It'll be, I'm assuming multiplayer will be 16 people again. So it'll be whatever the biggest server is 
Uh, of course, I'll, I'll get the biggest server, so no worries there. But, uh, yeah, it should be good. It should be really fun. So should be good to get it on the console and definitely on the PC. I'll, I'll, I'll do both. I don't mind switching between them. I mean, I don't play the console that much. Um, you know, I really don't. This is the only thing that I'm recording from console right now is this particular let's play um but that's okay that's okay one of these days i want to like just sit here and play some halo or something so we have three hundred and thirty thousand liters which that's more than the train can hold so let's go ahead and sell canola um let's go ahead and sell canola ola ola a a canola is a really good price right now too so that's good that's really good up there at the train so We'll go ahead and sell a train load of canola. But because we have more than the train will actually hold, it, there's no point for us to actually hold it back and and wait, you know? There's no point, so there is that. Okay, let's get you empty, Mr. Man, even though you probably don't need to be emptied yet, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. We'll wait for the other guy to turn around, empty him out. As we're filling the train, harvesting sugar cane and harvesting canola. But yeah, multiplayer should be good on farm sim. I hope, anyway. I hope it's good. And like I said, we'll probably, like, maybe... Probably going to stream PC more, but I will I will try to sprinkle in uh, the console for some of you guys as well. Because I know there's a bunch of you guys... I mean, Puma Plow was kind of made on the console back in the day. You know, I, I'm definitely not, like, deaf to that, you know? Like... We really played a lot of console stuff back in the day, and we really built the channel up on the console. And, of course, now I've definitely graduated to the PC, but you never know. The other thing that would make console probably better for me, the Xbox One anyway, because I'm, I'm an Xbox guy, not a PlayStation guy, but would probably make it better is to get one of those Xbox One Xs. I, I'm... I, I can't justify it right now because I don't play Xbox enough to justify it. But maybe down the road, you never know. I could see picking one up, um, the, especially if multiplayer is like at all decent, and you know we have like people that want to play it and stuff. Then I could I could maybe see picking one up after Farm Sim comes out. You know, a little Christmas present to myself kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. But. Uh, Either way, either way, we'll definitely give it a try on uh, Xbox and, and have some fun with that. So, looking forward to it. I can tell you that much. I'm really looking forward to the next Farm Sim game. I mean, this one's been good, but it's been almost two years. You know, later, what is it, November? October, November, somewhere in there, it'll be two years. And uh, it, it's time. It's time. Not in a bad way, because this game's you know great i would probably still be playing 15 if like 17 never came out you know like i don't mind it although 17 of course is better than 15 and hopefully 19 will be better than 17 i mean that would be the hope anyway right <laughs> train woo to the woo 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 to the woo woo okay Gonna fill you up, my train car, Fred. That's twice today I've named something Fred, by the way. It's not good, guys. It's not good. <laughs> I have a I have a habit of naming uh, naming stuff Fred, and I don't know why. I don't know why. It's kind of a thing, guys. It's kind of a thing. All right, so probably after we sell canola, we might work on picking up some more fields. I could see doing that. I could definitely see doing that. Because uh, we always need more fields, right? Always need more fields. And then one of these days, guys, we're going to set up and do a high-speed high speed harvest, because why not? These harvests take a while. They, they definitely take a while now. So I could definitely see doing a high speed for you guys. I enjoy the high speed videos. You know, the Plains and Simple series on Saturdays. That's all high speed every single week. And I enjoy making that series quite a bit. I really do. 
I really, really enjoy making that series, so. That is good. Okay, we're really just waiting. Literally have nothing to do right now except for wait for the train to fill up with canola. That's it. I can talk about my hard drives I got. <laughs> I got some uh, six terabyte hard drives recently, like yesterday in the mail. Ordered them off Newegg. And uh, I'm currently trans or copying, transferring, whatever, copying all of my on the farm footage. It's actually not quite all of it because I haven't backed up on the farm footage in a while. I've been a bad digital hoarder here lately and have not backed up all of my stuff lately. But I'm in the process of transferring like, uh, how many gigs are left? How many gigs are left? It doesn't tell me. Uh, 1.7 terabytes are left. <laughs> 1.7 terabytes are left to transfer. It says it's going to take another 3 hours 15 minutes. But it's already been going for uh, 2 hours or an hour and a half. It's already done a fair bit. So it's a lot of data, but it's like every... Not every, because I've like I said, I've been a bad person at backing up my data lately. It's most raw clips and most edited on the farms that I've like ever shot or edited, made, whatever. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So I'm going to park that on my six terabyte drives. And then the four terabyte drives that I have all that stuff on now, I'm actually going to use for the uploaded video. So I don't keep the raw footage like what you guys are. Well, not what you're seeing right now. But, like, the actual footage before I edit, I only keep that for a couple months because I have, like, some smaller hard drives that I keep that on. So those fill up kind of on a regular basis. And instead of buying, like, all the hard drives in, in the world, I've decided that the raw footage I can let go. I'm not as attached to that. So except for when it comes to the on-the-farm stuff, I definitely want to keep that. But the rest of the raw footage, I don't mind letting it go. I mean, I won't lie. If I had, like, the hard drives and stuff for it, I would definitely keep it all. But I just, I don't. And I'm not going to spend that kind of money on hard drives. I mean, trust me, I'm spending enough the way it is. I don't need to spend much more on hard drives because it's already a lot. It's already a lot. So, what was that email about? Okay, that's been delivered. All right. Um... <laughs> Emails for days, guys. Emails for days. But the, um, what's your doodle? What's your doodle? Yeah, so I'm going to put all the, um, I have every video that I've made for YouTube. Yeah, I have every video that I've made on hard drives. And those two, I, I run everything in pairs, by the way. So, like, I bought two hard drives recently, and I'm putting the same information on both hard drives. So, if one of them were to crap out, I still have the other hard drive, and then I can just get one new one and, and, you know, replace everything on there, basically. It's, I don't know, it's my theory of how to store stuff. I know it's probably not the correct way or the safest way. In fact, I know it's not because my brother-in-law has talked to me about other ways to store stuff. But for right now, that's what I'm doing. And, yeah, so those four, there's, there's two four terabyte drives, and they are full of videos that I have made in the last what's it been a little over two years now so those are it's full of all the videos that i've made in the last two years so it's a lot of information four terabytes that's a lot but basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to put like i was saying the the two hard drives that have the on the farm stuff on them take those off and put the like going forward the uploaded videos basically is what i call them the the videos that are done finished out there on youtube you know, go ahead and back those up onto, onto those drives. So it's a process, but it's kind of fun in a way. It's not bad. I mean, it's not fun. You just hit copy and walk away from your computer for hours and let it run. So, I mean, it's nothing fun about it. Wrong. Poor choice of words, you see. But uh, it's really not that bad. It's not, it's not terrible. And it makes you feel good that, like, all my information's safe, you know? At least that's the theory. Now, if I wanted to get real crazy about 
making all my information safe, I would have to use like one of those. I think Carbonite's one of them. It's a it's a service you pay for, and you get so many gigs, and you can upload your stuff to it. But I generate too many gigs, and I don't know if they actually like um, a lot of video. I, I think they do like pictures and text documents and that kind of stuff. Because uh, my brother has it, he uses it for like. He actually, oh, okay. So first time, my oldest brother, he lives here with us. And he, <laughs> he's really big into genealogy. Okay, so like family history and DNA tests now and birth certificates and marriage records and death records and I almost said death certificates. Um, just all that stuff, you know, genealogy. Like he can tell you where our families came from in Germany and England and mostly Germany. All this stuff little bit of British on my mom's side, but anyway, mostly German. But he can tell you, like, all this stuff, where we came from, and, you know, some of the people even, what boat they were on when they came over, and what port they landed in, and what they had with them, and, like, all this stuff. He had a hard drive crash a couple of years ago, and he lost, he lost years of work. Like, literally years of work he lost, and he was, of course, not happy and right after that, he's like, screw this, I'm paying for Carbonite. And he started paying for it and hasn't stopped. So when he makes files, it uploads them automatically, which sometimes can interfere with streams. But for the most part, it's okay. Because it waits till like, kind of late in the evening to do it. Wait, like, overnight kind of thing. So, sometimes it's, a, it's an issue. But uh, for the most part, it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little grump grump with them. Like, dude, you're killing my frame rate here, bro. Come on, man. Kill him a bit rate. Let's go. But, uh, yeah, so he uses it for that kind of stuff. Um, I've gone the hard drive route because, like I said, unless you pay a bunch of money, I don't think they want videos. Plus, the other thing is I generate too much data in a, in a week to really upload it efficiently. I mean, I, I struggle sometimes to upload everything to YouTube in a week. And it's not so much like this series it's it's the streams is what it is it's the streams and right now i'm actually uploading every single stream to youtube because why not so every single stream is getting uploaded and uh it, it it gets to be a lot of data i generate somewhere somewhere around 200 gigs of data a month no strike that 200 gigs of data a week is what i generate between i the streams, the raw and the edited, which I don't edit too much on streams, but there is still some stuff that has to be edited, of course. And so you generate a lot that way. And then all the edited series like this one, which I really don't do much editing on. You guys probably have realized that by now. Don't really do a lot of editing, but it's still what I consider an edited series. So it uh, it's a lot about a little over 200 gigs a week I would say is kind of a good uh, a good oh, that's not the right button a good average anyway. So it's that's a lot that's a lot of data. So and no I'm not just dumping this on the ground it's going into the building. I wish they would have put a grate on the ground here or something. I guess maybe you're supposed to dump like where's the button this way. Maybe you're supposed to dump in, like, that hopper there, and it's mostly meant for sugarcane, it looks like. But I don't really care. Whatever. It works. It works. It just looks silly, but hey. Whatever. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's so good. So we have $963,000, and I think we're going to start the next video with purchasing some fields think that's what we're gonna do so make sure you guys tune in for that later in the week i would appreciate it and uh, with that i think we're gonna go ahead and call this a video here so we don't run over too much i'm on a tight schedule today uh tight schedule but it is good i'm actually getting some recordings done because i've not been able to get some recordings done not been able to do much in the way of recordings in a while so it's good that i'm kind of trying to get caught back up to where I should be, where I like to be, where I'm comfortable with having a fair bit of recordings in the bag, basically. So, there is that in all the different series. 
So, with that, guys, I'm going to say Combine, do not jump to the next field. I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great, like Tony the Tiger, it's great rest of your day. And we'll catch you when we catch you. Until then, thanks for watching yet again. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, toodles.